Good morning everyone and welcome to Garden to Kitchen. Today it's going to be about harvesting potatoes. It's the fall, it's September the 4th and we are going to harvest the potatoes from the blue barrel which you have seen before with the feeder bucket. Little unusual this year and I'm going to show you some tremendous growth uh, of the potatoes with some a series of photographs that are going to look really outstanding. So let's get started. Now this year I decided to do something a little unusual and that is to grow potatoes in straw. I've been trying to get the potatoes to be blemish free and big. So this year I decided to do something a little different. and. Uh, uh, of course, I've grown it uh, with soil at the bottom. I've put in about six to eight inches of soil at the bottom with our native soil and compost from my rolling compost bin, which is just beside me. And what I've done is I've scraped the bottom of the compost bin in order to get that compost and put it into my uh, red uh, sifting device to get all that fine compost that's going to grow the potatoes this year. And this year I've done something a little different. I've filled the tube with compost. I've filled it up about uh, 12 inches of pure compost and of course when I've watered it the compost would be seeped down through the potato roots and hopefully grow these potatoes nice and big. Now after filling the barrel and drilling holes in the bottom of course with about six to eight inches of soil I use Mackenzie seeds and they are from Manitoba and I bought them over at Lowe's in Ottawa and they look terrific. Now these particular potatoes I've grown before and they were really huge so I'm really anxious to see what kind of potatoes I'm going to get. Now once the potatoes were covered with a bit of soil I put in about six to eight inches of straw and uh, and I watched. I came back about a week later and uh, this was on June the 6th and the potatoes were already sprouted and I photographed them during the month on June the 8th, June the 10th and they just kept growing. June the 16th, the 20th and the 24th during that month of June they were really growing. And, uh, and of course on July 1st they produce those beautiful flowers that we see, the potato flowers. Now while the plant was growing I continued to add the straw and I kept putting it in and as the plant grew I continued to add straw up to the top because I wanted to grow the potatoes in the straw hopefully. Now here we are uh, the plant is starting to die off. It's ready to harvest. So here we go. We're going to start harvesting. First thing I want to do is remove. Oh, there's a small potato. Uh, that is a sign. Oh, well, put that in there. Uh, oh, we have another one. Look at that red potato. Pretty good right on the roots. Now hopefully we're going to have some really clean potatoes and uh, we're going to remove all of these these stalks and get down to the potatoes hopefully. <laughs> I hope we have some potatoes this year and I hope they're big and I hope they're nice and clean. So here we have it. I'm going to disconnect this tube make it a little easier to harvest the potatoes. Let's see now. I'm going to take it off this side and over here. This is exciting. Are you ready? <laughs> here it comes. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, there's full of compost. Look at that. You can see all the compost here. Yeah, this tube is full of compost and I see a red potato down inside. I'm going to reach inside here just to pull it out. And there it is, a red potato. You can see that. That's a beauty. And, I'm gonna, and of course, it's blemish free. I'm going to reach in here. Oh, small one. See if I can feel some potatoes in here. Oh, there's a small one. Let's see what we get. Oh, there's another one. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to empty this bucket. So we have a bucket here to put the straw in. That's good. Now here we go. Putting some of the straw aside in hopes that we're going to have some potatoes at the bottom. Now look at this. We have an apple. And of course that means that a squirrel has taken an apple off the apple tree and buried it in here. What was he thinking, eh? Place to hide. Oh, there is a red one right here. That's a nice red one and it's in good condition. So let's carry on. There's another small one. Hopefully we're going to get some big ones here and see how this goes. Uh, there we go. All right, now we're getting down to the soil, as I mentioned. Now, let's see if we can find some potatoes. Oh, well, there's one. All right, let's dig. Oh, there's a big one. There's one right there. Look at that one. And here's another one. That aside. Not as, oh, not as many. Oh, wait a minute. Here's some more. Here's some more red potatoes. You can see that. And that's why I'm wearing these blue gloves, so you can see <laughs> the red potatoes. I'm just going to put them over here. Oh, I spotted a few worms. That's a good sign. That means the compost was in here and working really well. Oh, I think I found another one down here. Oh, there's a small one. Oh. And let's take, see if we have any more. Not as many as I thought we would have, but this is, you know, an experiment to see if we could grow some bigger potatoes in this barrel. So that looks like it's it. I got a, a bunch of potatoes here. I'll let you take a look at it here. And they're not too bad. Ah, oh, there we are. We got some potatoes from this barrel. Perhaps not as many and not as big as I would like to have them, but I would say the experiment worked out quite well. So this is something you could do, something you could try, an experiment. It's all about gardening. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the garden.